Hi guys. So um, I'm just gonna give you a quick run through of my um, some of my rods setups. So that's just been um, quite well requested. Um, sweet. Right, here are the rods. I'll show you what's um, what's what. I'm just gonna be a quick talk through, and then I'm gonna get fishing because I'm dying to fish. Right. Okay. So um. Some of you may not know this. I actually own a spinning setup. It's um, a Daiwa Gekka Japan MX. I think it's about uh, half a gram or zero to um, five gram casting weight. Paired up with um, uh, some rubbish old Shimano reel I've had laying around for ages, which I might have painted myself. <laughs> and. Um, that I'm fishing a little Nico rig on. The next, ooh, right. So the next rod is um, a 13 fishing fake chrome. I think around the um, three, four, sort of five gram to 14 gram casting weight, something roughly along them lines. Most of my rods are actually that same um, same weight, but they all they all feel a bit different different actions on the tip. And um, fishing that with a uh, trim down bass jig. This is the Daiwa Steeds reel. Um, and that's got 12 pound Seagar fluorocarbon, um, as do all of my reels. I'm using Seagar fluorocarbon on all of the, the reels of fluorocarbon at least. Next, next rod is the um, Daiwa Air Edge with um, an SS Air reel and that again is around sort of three to 14 gram casting weight. Um, and next we have the, um, the Gekka Jaben casting, um, casting rod AD uh, with the um, AGS guides, where you can see them, carbon fibre. They really, really help with the sensitivity of the rod, at least in my eyes. And that's paired up with another Dawa SSR reel. I'm fishing um, a Nika rig on that one. Oh. And just to bring it back to the air edge, I'm fishing a Chiquita rig on the air edge. Now for the um, sort of pike setup, which sometimes I use for heavy perch. That is the Dawa Pro Rex. Um, I think it, the casting weight is rated 10 to 30 grams, but um, I might be might be wrong. And I've got that paired up with a 13 fishing inception reel, um, some 30 pound, 30 pound braid, um, Top of Manor's own, own brand braid, which is great. I don't know if it's, um, it's been released to the public yet, but I've been trying that out and absolutely no problem at all. Great stuff and should be very affordable. And I've got big old Keytech um, Swing Impact Fat, I believe, on there, I think it's six. 6.8 inches, can't remember, with um, a weedless, weedless weighted um, trocar hook. And I know a lot of you pike anglers will crap your pants and think you won't hook up with that, but I've, I think I've only missed about two, two fish on that, so works good for me. And um, for the for the net, I have um, a Daiwa again. It's being a bit biased to Daiwa right now. A Daiwa um, six metre extendable landing net handle with a Witchwood, I believe, landing net head, which is um, adjustable. But yeah, so that's the um, setups that I um, often use, and I'll um, talk you through some tackle. Right, so I don't know how that's just come out, that the end video of the rods, because my camera's a bit blurry. But um, I'm going to just tell you about my bag quickly. This is um, a flambo, I don't know, like body bag, might as well be. It's massive. Um, got a lot of stuff in there, though. Top section, I have my camera cases and reel covers, pliers, etc. and hooking equipment. A small little selection of them. End tackle, a few little lures, a few um, Texas weight hooks, top shots, 
stuff, etc. To um, yeah, just to mix, mix much of stuff. Not well organised. You're just chucked in there. At least I know if um, I got a short little um session, just take the little ultra light rod, and I got enough of everything in there just to have a little bit of fun. Probably some wasps or or whatever, whatever you're fishing for. Um, yeah, just take the odd reel, etc. I think this side compartment, normally have my camera tripod and it's a big old swim bait in there and whatnot. Shut this up so I can open the other bits up. And then um, this other side, side bit I've got um, scales, various lines. Um, that's the sea guy I'm using, a tatsu. It looks like a rat's chewed it, just where um, everything's got a bit wet. Where uh, I guess I don't really care about the elements too much. There's, um, some not too kinky wire in there, if I ever fancy to bit that. More seagull line, etc, etc. Right, so in the main compartment of the bag, I've got all my lures. Let's open that up. Um, a few little bits in there. Some weights, etc. This is my um, terminal tackle box. At least, mainly Texas, Texas setups. We've got um, Texas, well, EWG hooks ranging from Rio, I think, to small. Um, two Texas weights in there. Carolina weights, don't know if many people seen them. Um, one tiny hook by himself. <laughs> Some um, worms, um, Texas weight bungs, some um, slide up the line stoppers, whatever you want to call them. A few um, little bass jigs in here, some odd cores, just a bit. It's all just sort of dumped, <laughs> dumped in there. A few more cores, a few more bass jigs. Well, skirted jig, I don't like calling bass jigs. I guess that's just this right same. Some um, crazy little stand up hooks. Um, the little sin mushy, not, not really a time of year for that. <laughs> little swim bait, tiny little chat baits. You get you get the gist. Right, and for, I'm not going to go through all the boxes, it take forever. But, um, there's another couple boxes and he's got lures in, got little crawls, some um, worms that I use for my Nico rigs and maybe on a drop shot. Um, all different types of crawls, colours, etc. Um, and, oh god. And in this other box I've got a selection of um, sad type lures. I, Battle shards, Rackley Mirror shard, Benjo shards, uh, I think these are dam, some um, like live, live action sort of swim baits, I can't quite remember who they are. Um, some of the old ones I made myself, always used to be killer for me for a bit. Better go back to using some. Little curly tails for myself. Sinker worms, made by me. More, um, there's a little bastard hiding in there. Some bait, some big old sads. Um, I hope this is helpful for you guys and you've got a bit more of an insight into some of the tackle I use. Alright, guys, so I'm just going to um, yeah. run through some underwater footage of couple different rigs I'm using at the moment. Um, this is the first one, that's a um, Nico rig worm. Um, it's going to want focus on my face. Right, so there's a worm. Um, it's got a little, little weight in the end here. Yeah, the hook in the middle, little tail. The line runs up parallel. 
what that does is it just it just bounces on them the bottom tail will come up vertical that's rig one rig two will be um, this little skirted jig little crayfish imitation show you how that bounces along the bottom And rig number three will be this little um, uh, Chiquita rig. Um, crayfish lure on it. Um, it's got a uh, it's free swinging weight attached to the hook. And um, it's a three yo worm hook. Right. So some underwater footage of them now. Thank <laughs> you. 